Hi, I'm Nam. Now I will show you how to use the Arduino Nano to read the temperature value from the sensor. Wireless communication with Raspberry Pi and not red using Laurel SS1270A. The hardware materials we need to have are on the transmitter side, we need the first Arduino Nano version 3 temperature sensor DS18B20. Laura SS1270A. Antenna 3 dBm. The power. On the receiver side, we need the Raspberry Pi SBI interfacing with Laura SS1270A and antennas. Now you see the result on the Raspberry Pi and not red here. The temperature and the signal strength RSSI value. Next we go to wire connections. Here the wire connections. The temperature sensor DS18B20 connects to the Arduino Nano. We need the resistor here for the same logic level. Our book signal connects to digital 4 on the Arduino Nano. Laura SS1270 a on the transmitter side SBI interfacing with the Arduino Nano. The power supply is 3.3 voltage. Raspberry Pi connects to Laura SS1270 a We need the antenna here. Chip select and access connect to TPIO8 SPICE Euro. Power supply 3.3 voltage. The table of wire connections. Next, we go to the Arduino Nano on the transmitter side. On the transmitter side, we need to use the Gaussi for the Arduino Nano. First, we need to include some libraries, SPI, Laura library. By click, go to this website and click God. And click download zip file. Come back to the Arduino. And here you click sketch include library at zip library and choose the download file explorer and click open next we need to install include dallas temperature by click here go to include library manage libraries this is the library for the ds 18p20 sensor here you need to click here to install library and close next we need to set up the wire wire one wire bus digital 4 it depends on your wire connections to read the temperature sensor 
define the frequency the default is here you need to you can set up a new frequency but need the same with the receiver side the same value with the receiver side you set the transmitter power or bandwidth if you want more information you need to go to the uh, website and see the data sheet this is a function to read the temperature sensor and transfer string data to convert temperature sensor into string data and put into a chart alright and this is your function to send the data with length 6 next we click to compile to see any error done and click through and choose the more processor bot com zero bot okay and upload open zero monitor it's sending okay now we go to the raspberry pi on the receiver side on the raspberry pi first you need to configure the raspberry pi for lora module step one through step six at step one you need to enable SPI interface by click here go to preferences go to Raspberry Pi configuration click interfaces and enable SPI here and OK next turn on the terminal and install some package you don't have from step two through step six for example you copy this and paste it here enter and finish this similarly with all of this step okay all of this step i have done before and now we go to the python code click here go to programming and turn on the python program this is my python code i have done before first uh, import the library SS 1278 more set up SBI interface in finish you can set the bandwidth the frequency need the same with the transmitter side dial mapping you need more information by read the data sheet okay at the function rs done to read the data from the transmitter and convert the data array to utf a ignore error bring the data in the data array we need to separate it the value you format from the transmitter side this is my value temperature from the data array 
Now you click here to run the Python code. Here, the temperature and the signal strength, RSSI. Next, we go to the not red. This is my workplace not red. Choose this function, inject function, debug function, and the exact not to run the Python code. Connect them. Open. In chat. And click. Done. Open the Z command. Python 3. And open file manager. Here the Python code we have done before. We can open it to check the Python code. Okay. Close. Right click and copy path. Return to not read. Paste it here. Choose the mod, spawn mod, and done. Click deploy and see the value on the debug. Here, temperature and signal strength RSSI. Okay. That's all of my video. If you have any question about this, you can contact me by put the comment below. Uh, all of this code, not red and Python code, you can download it easily on the description below. Thank you very much.